Braden here today with a quick little modification to your new Morimoto MLED projector. Uh, this has been dubbed the Chip Flip Mod. I'm sure you've heard of it by now, especially if you've uh, purchased one of these. You might want to consider doing it. Uh, we're going to get into uh, why it's called the Chip Flip Mod and what's involved. Uh, what you'll need to do this is pretty straightforward. You're going to need a T10 Torx screwdriver. We're going to start by removing uh, these two T10 screws here on the top of the uh, reflector bowl. Be a screw and a washer per side. Got it. And pop the reflector off the top. Tricky to get off sometimes. And there's the bowl. Okay. So when we take a look inside of here, uh, the first thing that I do notice is the wires are kind of up in the air a little bit. You can see that. Uh, there has been reports of uh, shadows uh, on the output of these things from the wires. So right off the bat, you want the wires to be flat as flat as possible. Uh, you don't want them to be sticking up. They will interfere with the output you see. But anyway, back to the mod here, uh, this uh, chip here, if you can see that very well, uh, you'll notice that the uh, chip is in a triangle formation with the tip of the triangle facing the back of the projector. Uh, what we're gonna be doing here is uh, flipping this chip around so the tip of the triangle faces the lens instead. And we're gonna do this by uh, pulling the two screws off and flipping the chip around, hence the name Flip the Chip. Uh, I'd also like to point out that this modification was discovered by Sam Colt, so let's give him some credit for that. Pull this off completely. Okay. Uh, another thing I'd like to note here is there is some thermal grease on the back of this uh, chip here. So you don't want to be getting any of that on your hands. So try and do this without touching the back of the chip. Otherwise you'll get that stuff all over your hands. And uh, you probably don't want that. This thing's somewhat set in place here. wires out of the way. Perfect. Screw back in here. Get that started. Uh, the screws that hold this chip in and the reflector bolt are the same. So if you mix them up, it's not the end of the world. The ones holding the chip in place do not have washers. Uh, we'll make sure that the wires are nice and tucked down, uh, not sticking up. Get them as flat as you can. Uh, another thing to note, you do want this chip to be in the same orientation it was before. If it's crooked, if it's not level, uh, it will affect your output. So try and get it as flat as possible and seated nice like it was originally. Now, as you can see here, as mentioned before, the tip of the triangle of the chips is facing the lens and this is what we're going to end up with so at this point now we can go ahead and pop the reflector bowl back on and we are done here
Uh, luckily they made this uh, very easy to disassemble and reassemble. Making modifications like this fairly simple. And there you have it. Uh, it seems like a very uh, minor change, but trust me, it makes a huge difference. Uh, if you have a set of these, you definitely want to consider doing this mod. It takes a few minutes of your time, and uh, while you're at it, you can also make sure that the wires inside are flat.